this is courtesy of Mixmag. It says Manchester Teletech reveal lineup of debut festival. Now i have only familiar with Teletech because I went to the party they put on at Fold featuring um, Fiac and a few other people. But I mentally went to see Fiac play live. That's why I say pronounce their names anyway. Um, but if, from what I've seen on the Instagram and digging a bit deeper and kind of you know flicking through some stuff and checking out some interviews and whatnot and features here and there, they seem to be a fairly serious outfit out of Manchester in terms of putting on nights. Seem to be some fairly serious promoters who are doing things the right way. Um, they seem to be getting across. They seem to be getting over a lot of like kind of the Berlin glitterati sort of DJs, the people that you pay, maybe have seen play some really disgustingly good sets on that station called Hor or How Heavy pronounce it that bathroom um in berlin and they are doing a good job of getting those guys over and obviously mixing it up with the, some other people that you we all know and love like randomer and whatnot but they seem to be a fairly serious outfit they kind of take their raving seriously bespoke sound systems um great flyers i feel like the programming is always pretty decent and the nights are really good i think they put on a pretty a fairly decent party on new year's eve i think in manchester um which i'm assuming is gonna be great because you know i'd imagine the scene in manchester is a bit smaller than london but to have a group a collective like them or to have a promotion out there that's doing parties of that level in, in a place like manchester must be such a treat because there's no need to come to london if they're able to pull some of the names they're able to pull and it's got announced courtesy of mix mag that they are revealing a festival they're going to put together a one-day festival um <laughs> Was it a festival? How? Do, what do you deem to be a festival? Festivals are usually stuff that happens. I'd think, in my opinion, things that happen more than two days or more than a day, right? But I guess nowadays, if you're able to put an event in like an outdoor kind of space for a day, you can deem it to be a festival if you want to be. It's a bit cheeky, right? Because you know, festivals. You would say some people would go as far as saying, unless you're camping, it's not really a festival. But then you know, that's a little bit of a stretch. That's a little bit, you know, that's a little bit harsh. I'd say. Anything more than a day is definitely more of a festival than, you know, just going to an event that's just like a long day, a long day party or whatever, innit? But anyway, we move on. So as follows, um, promoter Teletech has announced a lineup for their new festival that will take place in August the 6th at an industrial site in Manchester. I think so far they haven't revealed the location, but I'm definitely going to take some time off work and go. Uh, it says today the lineup was announced. It includes Francois X, Kiki, SPF DJ, Anitha, Back to Back Randoma, I Hate Models, Rebecca and more. The only thing I'd say to be a little bit judgmental, even though I fuck with SPF DJ, she's a good girl. I exchanged a couple of DMs of her on Instagram back in the day. She seems like a fun person. But the lineup, it's a little bit samey. They seem to book the same old people. If it's not someone from Possession, it's somebody from Berlin, it's somebody that's been on that, you know, that bathroom in, in Berlin, uh, Channel Whore, it's a little bit samey. I like a bit more of a mix up in terms of, but again, these people are basically the new, they're the new four leaders or the new four, four they're the, yeah, they're basically the, the, the new breed of people that everyone's kind of coming behind, right? They're the new kind of breed new breed new crop of djs that are kind of really popular especially with the kids so it makes sense why they're booking them but i want it to be a bit more fresh i'm um, not unknown just get some different people because it's just the same it feels like they kind of rotate the same rolodex of like 30 djs you know from like what's his name who's the spanish the, the little spanish guy with the mohican that's always tapping his feet like he's on flipping meth or something who's that guy Do you know that guy i'm talking about yeah there's always the same group of people anyway it continues um techno event called Tech, Tech festival will see ravers gather at a yet to be revealed industrial site on august 6th in summer can't wait to go Manchester's always a great place to bop to especially from London I always feel like whenever you leave London and you go to a rave in the cities outside of the outside of London people are so much nicer because people in London are such pricks and so pretentious and so up their own ass that when you go to other places it's so refreshing to be around people who are nice and welcoming but then I'm also sure if you live in Manchester you'd also say people that are pretentious too because that's where you live but compared to London man like going out especially in terms of fun like in terms of just general fun you could go to any town in the UK and go to a pub and you'd probably have more fun in the pub with some randoms than you would do going to some clubs in London because it's so hit and miss. It's improving, but for sure, in terms of nights out, there's more bang for your buck and you'd have a definitely a better time, I feel, going out in, in um, places outside of London. And I've, what I've always loved too, sorry, about going outside of London, especially when you're just there for the weekend, especially on a Sunday, I've always loved the kind of familial, no, no, the family sort of like friendly nature of it. Like everyone's always in groups going to lunches to go get a Sunday roast, to go get some brunch. It feels like there's a lot of groups of people that hang around, so, you know, like friends or family members or a whole group of girls or whatnot. It's just nice to see that. It's just, you know what I mean? 
loads of like love around the air people just generally enjoying each other's company whereas in london they feel like everyone's just bouncing around from scene to scene trying to clout chase here um on their own here like jamie you know I mean? there's a lot of kind of individualism whereas i feel like there's a lot of collective group love outside of london which is you know probably why we the north south divide exists because we're completely different to people up north but i've always enjoyed my time when i went to manchester um i remember one time i went there for like a university freshers no university yeah freshers kind of day because i was working for some company handing out flyers and whatnot and i think at the time i think i was yeah m maybe one of my first first jobs and i happened to be there at the time when domino's was doing this crazy one pound pizza thing um i think you got like a pepperoni pizza for a quid and i was like I'm, I'm, i think i fell in love with the north then i was like we never get this stuff in london so i got a pound pizza went to a pub got a pound i was just loving it loving life but anyway continue starting at 2 p.m the party won't end until 5 a.m with stages are both out indoor and outdoor the only problem with this starting at 2 p.m especially for somebody traveling from london again it's not their fault it's just a standard situation hotels and airbnbs they don't let you check in until 3 p.m or sometimes 4 p.m so if you want to go there you're going to have to go there and usually most of these things again events in the uk are so annoying because they won't let you have a stamp and leave so they're going to let you come in but then you can't leave so then you can't go and put your stuff back or you know prepare your things in order to go to the festival you just have to go straight there and then go to the accommodation later to sleep or go straight home from there or maybe just stay up i don't know whatever it's just that's a little bit that's a little bit annoying about it um starting at 2 p.m you know what i mean but then i guess if you want to you could maybe sacrifice the first two hours and then just go get ready and then go then later but you know if you're gonna pay the money to go to a festival especially a day festival you the least you can do is stay there is go to when it opens and stay until it closes. You know what I mean? There's no point doing anything else, but you know, maybe I'm in the wrong there. It says, yes, Hey Tech Side is a small party in Fallowfield and has since evolved into an established promoter of, for the north of England. I don't know what's Fallowfield. What's that? It's an area in the UK. What's Fallowfield? I've, I'm, honestly, my geography in the UK is so bad. What's Fallowfield? Fallowfield is a suburb of Manchester. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, <laughs> it's a good ticket to the festival. It's quite sad that I'm saying, I don't know where Fallowfield is being a support of Man United that lives in London, isn't it? But yeah, let's continue. Tickets for the festival go on sale February the 4th and will be available to grab here, which is that, what's here? Is that RA? No, Skiddle. Okay, they're doing it in their own place. Okay, how much are they going to be? Let's see. I'm saying £50. Is it for the price there amount? No, we don't know what the price is. So no idea what the price is, but uh, six, the, the, the minimum age. Okay, I say £50 my guess is going to be about 50 which was okay for the entire lineup the entire lineup finishes as follows um obviously the 999 guy need for back-to-back -back randomer charlie sparks clara Kuv, yeah loads of Ber berlin people that can't play in their own city because their city has decided to close everything up it'd be funny though a lot of people might end up backing out of this because if the if berlin opens up before august and everything's back open and shit you're probably going to want to bang out all your sets over there and come over here. So there might be people dropping out here and there. But yeah, loads of glitterati from Berlin. I would like to see D-Dan play actually live. Dax J, I could do without after I saw him play at Thingamajig. Whereas at E1, I thought it was pretty boring um, going through the motions. Again, maybe it's just, you know, he's too big of a DJ nowadays to kind of be inspired as he was when he was younger. But hey, DJ Boneyard, Francois X, of course, are going to go see him. Fraser, Gabba Eleganza, definitely go see him, even though I've seen him a few times at um, Fold. Had one, definitely go check High Hate Models just to see. I was observed because I saw some people on the techno subreddit basically saying that he wasn't great live and he kind of flattered to deceive and maybe he's a great producer, not a great DJ. And some people say it's very entertaining. So again, I'd like to see my own eyes, make my own judgment. You got somebody called in the Chrome, who I don't know, Kanda, I don't know, Kiki, I know, um, Klang and Clouster, I know, Nini H, I know, she's fucking phenomenal. Definitely one of the standout people to check out on Whore in terms of that, um, what you call it, that place, that put that toilet in Berlin, how you pronounce it, Otta Barfe, she's obviously really good. Another lady from, um, oh, wow, Patrick Mason's there. Another lady from Position, Patrick Mason, a great follow too on social media. Another person who stands out on Whore, who done some amazing performance on there rebecca shlomo spf dj um talia and a person called trim so yeah it's going to be a really decent festival the lineup looks pretty f awesome um you know standard thing um it's going to be nice to sort of mix it up instead of going to the same old places here in london it's going to be manchester a bit of a nice place to go to 
um, you know, again, even though the Airbnbs it might be a little bit expensive, and again, the only reason why I'm annoying it is just because it starts at two, and most Airbnbs don't let you check in until flipping um, what you might call it, until four p.m. or whatnot, which is super, super, super annoying. But again, not their problem. I guess I'll have to figure that out when I go there. But yeah, I love everything about it. I wonder if they got merch as well because the, the, the artwork they put on their um, flyers is really nice, man. I wonder if they got some merch they put out too. Maybe they do. But yeah, they've got a competition going at the moment. If you want to retweet the tweet they got up there to win tickets and whatnot you can do that feel free but yeah i'm looking forward to it man teletech festival happening in august august the 6th teletech festival 2 p.m to 5 a.m an all-day affair barnstorming one pace yourself don't wreck yourself it's gonna be an absolute bliss